Hi, this is Annie. This is Ivy. Welcome to Cross Connect. Today we are going to talk about the key elements of the structural cabling products, keystone jack and panels. Yes, uh, today we introduce our Eternity and General Series product to you. So our products are suitable for the project to the data center and the commercial building. So let's find out our products. Annie, can you let me know what's the difference between these keystone jacks? Sure. So I would like to introduce you about the keystone jack. Mm -hmm. This one uh, is 90 degree keystone jack. Mm. So it depends on the termination direction. So when we do the termination like this way, mm -hmm. and here is a 90 degree. So we call this is a 90 degree keystone jack. Okay. And this one, the termination position is here, and mm -hmm. RJ45 port here. So it's like a 180 degree. So we call this is a 180 degree keystone jack. Okay. And this is a two-list type. So it's uh, suitable for the build nation. So uh, no need any punch tool. So it's very good. Okay, so here I'll uh, unbox the 90 degree keystone jack first. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here is the first model, the 90 degree keystone jack and the wiring position is clearly marked on the keystone jack and there is the pick here and it will help you to uh, install easier okay so here is the first model and here is another 90 degree model okay okay here is another model with the black color cap and also the keystone jack so as you can see the keystone jack idc is oblique and it's a pattern design and uh, it has a better performance. This is the 180 degree keystone jack. Here you can show the logo like this. Mm -hmm. So if you can wiring the based on the uh, follow the wiring hole. Okay. So here you also can show the URL, the listed information. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, this is the 180 degree and with the wire cap also. And I will show you another one, 180 degree. Keystone jack. This one compared with the previous one is more slim size. So this one is suitable for the high density. This one not suitable for high density. Uh, however, it depends on the uh, real situation. Okay, so also the FTP model for K6A. So wiring cap and the keystone jack and the cable tie here. So we provide the model with the shelter or without shelter. And the model with shelter can prevent dust when the keystone jack is not being used. How can we do the termination job for the keystone jack? So Ivy, can you show us the termination? Okay, sure. So when you do the installation, you have to wire in the wire according to the wiring map and uh, you can trim a, a, a extra wire a little and uh, you can put it into the keystone jack termination tool and uh, just like this and you can see it is uh, properly fixed onto the keystone jack tool and uh, press okay so here you will have the keystone jack terminate by the termination tool and can you show us how to use the pressing tool for the tool free type keystone jack Yes, sure. For two list type, we will use the cable cap. So you can check the wiring, uh, wiring code here. Choose the A or B. And then put your cable here like this. So you can check this position and this position as a direction. Okay? So follow this and this. So must press down. I'll show you the pressing tool. Release the tool like this. Okay. Okay, so we'll have the 90 degree keystone jack as the previous we talked about it. Mm -hmm. So you will have a keystone jack and the cap inside the bag, and you will see the color code is clearly marked on the keystone jack body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's another model. Uh, 180 uh, and 80 degree keystone jack so there will be a keystone jack and the cap and also the cable tie
Okay, so Annie will also demonstrate how uh, what will be there inside a Keystone Jet Bag. Okay, now we will show you how we do the termination. So Ivy, can you show us? Sure. Okay, so you have to release the handle. And after you terminate the Keystone Jet like this, and uh, you can let me show you. Put the Keystone Jet in and the press. Sorry. So you will see the Keystone Jet uh, is uh, properly installed, and uh, here is the how we do the Keystone Jet termination. Now we will introduce our empty panel solution. So Abby, can you show us the solution? Sure, we provide the uh, keystone panel with the uh, shelter or the model without shelter. So if you choose the model with the keystone gel that is with shelter already, so you don't have to, to choose the model with shelter panel, okay? So it's also very uh, easy to install and you can see the paper card size is very big, so it's very easy for labeling. Okay, so and this model is uh, both suitable for both uh, shielded and unshielded cable, so it can reduce your stock greatly by preparing only one model, keystone panels. Okay, so here is another model, the standard 1U24 uh, port keystone jack panel, and here is also a paper card here, and uh, here is the rear of the keystone panel. Okay. So here is another model, two rack unit height and the 48 port keystone jack. And uh, here's the rear of the keystone panel, and you can see the identical number port is uh, clearly marked on the the support bar, and uh, you can fasten the cable identical into uh, in during the installation. Okay. So anyhow, about the another model. Okay, mm -hmm. so I will introduce the solution for the empty panel. This one is our new design. We call the front SS type. Mm -hmm. So I will show you how to we we how we use it. So first, take off this part, and then just push, and then you can take off. So you can do the installation first, and then after you finish the installation, you just put it back. and then you can fix it. Mm -hmm. So it's a front access type. It's mm -hmm. very convenient to use for the build termination. And this is a 1U48 port, empty panel. So you, when you choose the high density solution, you must take care uh, about the keystone jack, the size, uh, the height, and the width must fit with your high density solution. So later we will show you how to choose the right keystone jack for the high density solution, empty panel. Mm. So for this type, also with the paper card design, so it can solve your problem for the high density. Some uh, high, density, high density solution without the paper card for choose. So this one with the paper card is a very smart design. Mm -hmm. Also we have the UTP and STD solution for choose. Mm -hmm. This is an uh, angle type for 1U48 port. We also have the angle type for 1U24 port. And this one also for high density. So later we will show you how to do the installation for high density solution panel and how uh, to choose the right keystone jack also. Okay. So this uh, angle panel, we can bend it like this. And this is the support bar. We also can fold it with like this. So it can save the shipping space. It's a very smart design. Mm. Let us show you how we do the installation. So Ivy, can you show us? Okay, sure. So when you do the installation, you will have to check the keystone jack size, the stopper and the wipes of the keystone jack. Mm -hmm. So when you do the installation, you have to check the stopper is properly fixed onto the keystone panel and the push, and you will hear the sound of the click, and which means your keystone jack is proper, uh, properly installed. And here's another model. Okay, so so. Yes, and uh, in the front, you will see the keystone jack is uh, properly installed and uh, you can try to shake it a little, try to make sure it's uh, fixed. Okay, so here I'll demonstrate how to release the keystone jack. So here is a model without the, uh, the space. 
like this, you will see there will be a space for a screwdriver here, and this will make the um, release easier. The thing can take off it easily, but uh, don't worry, you can also take off the keystone jack like this. If you insert the, the blade of the keystone jack and try to turn it a little, and it will be released like this. So this is how we uh, load and unload the keystone jack onto the panels. Okay, now I will show you how we do the install for the high density panel for the keystone jack. So first check the stopper size here and with here the size, okay? So the stopper is ready. So first one, finish. The second one, also the stopper this side. Okay, let me show you the third one. So the RJ45 the direction is uh, different. Right? Yes. Okay, it's high density. So this is the front side. Now I show you how to release the keystone jack. So use the screwdriver. Okay. Now I will show you another situation you may uh, face when you do the installation. So it look okay, the size. The stopper, the size, things okay. So let's try. Okay, the first one is okay. The second one seems to be okay. Seems to be okay, mm -hmm. but it's a little tight, you see, mm -hmm. the space. Oh. Okay, the third one not okay because the space is too small. So this size, you must check the, the width of the keystone jack. So that's why we said uh, the size of the keystone jack is always important when, when you choose the right empty panel to fit for each other. Okay. Okay, thank you Annie to show us the importance uh, of choosing the right keystone jack for patch panels. Yes, uh, I'm glad to introduce for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, our Eternity series products uh, can provide a total solution for the structural cabling. So if you have any inquiry or question, just feel free to contact with us. Okay, so here's the information about the keystone jack and panels. If you like our video, you are uh, free to let us know. And you can follow us on YouTube or LinkedIn. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.